Hi, Chad here with Purple Collar Life. Thanks for watching today, I really appreciate it. In today's video, we're gonna talk about three really important things to do before you get on the mower and start mowing for that first time in the summer. Now I'll be mowing with my Toro time cutter, but these three very important steps apply to any mower in any situation. So first of all, it is that time of year and our yard's getting a little bit strange. You can see an area like this, the grass is getting pretty high. We're probably at eight, nine, 10 inches on these little sprouts. They're sticking up pretty good. Whereas an area like this, the grass isn't even high enough to mow yet. You know, in the spring days like today, where you've got some high areas, some low areas, it's better to go ahead and mow it. If you let the high areas get too high, then you're gonna have to rake and you're gonna have all that grass either that you're collecting or sitting on top of the fresh growth. Now you might be thinking this video is just about three specific things to do to your mower before you mow, but it's more than that. Thing number one happens before you even go near the mower. So let's talk about thing number one to do before the first time you mow. The very first thing you wanna do is prepare your yard. You can see here in the yard, I've got a lot of gravel from plowing snow in the winter time. I actually did a previous video about using the steel magnum backpack blower to move that gravel out of the yard along the driveway. This is actually an area where I had a pretty big pile of snow. The snow is finally melted and now this gravel is all here. So I can use the backpack blower to do that. If you don't have a backpack blower, you can always use a rake, but it's important to get the rocks and the sticks out of the yard because if you spend all this time getting your mower ready, sharpening the blades, etc., then you come in and hit all these rocks, sharpening the blades was for nothing. So step one, get your yard cleaned up. That includes removing any rocks, picking up all the sticks, the dog landmines. So in our case, Olive leaves some pretty good landmines throughout the winter. Mackenzie does a good job of cleaning them up most of the time, but before the first mill, I wanna get all those cleaned up so that I'm not hitting them with the mower or riding through them with my tires. We'll start with the rocks. So to prepare the yard for mowing, I like to take a walk around, get all these sticks picked up, It takes a little bit of time to do this, but it's better than having to get off the mower every few seconds and pick up the sticks while you're trying to mow. So not only does this prep work make it safer for your mower, you're not damaging those blades, it also makes your mowing more efficient once you get started. The last part of step number one is taking a walk through your yard, finding any low spots, reminding yourself about what the mowing system is. It's probably been six months or so since you've mowed. So here's a wet spot. As I travel through this area, I'll either avoid it or I'll use the tips to not get stuck on a zero turn mower. I'll put a link to that video up above. Okay, important step number two. First was preparing your yard, next is preparing the machine. So in this case, we've got the Toro time cutter. A couple things I wanna do. First of all, I wanna check all the air pressure. I use this Astro AI air gauge. It tells me what the air pressure is. I can slowly hit the trigger here to inflate and make sure I get my tires to the correct pressure. A lot of times it'll say either in the instruction manual or on the tires what pressure they should be. But it's important to get them to the right pressure so that your mowing is even as you mow. You also wanna take this opportunity to grease any grease points. Now this Toro time cutter has sealed bearings on the mower deck. There are no grease points for me to hit, but if I were gonna mow with the John Deere, I'd use my grease gun to grease all those zerks Make sure everything's properly lubed up before the first mow of the season. You also wanna make sure you've got good fuel in the machine. I like to use ethanol-free gasoline only in my Toro time cutter. You also wanna make sure your oil is good and clean. Now at the start of every season, I change the oil. Even if I've just changed it in the fall, it's been sitting for six months. I like to start out the season with fresh oil and a fresh filter. It's a little bit of an expense, but much less than a motor overhaul. So I go ahead and order my Toro time cutter oil filters. I'll put a link down below. 
it'll be an Amazon affiliate link, so it won't cost you anything more, but it will give me credit for sending you to Amazon. I buy them three at a time just so I have them on the shelf. So I just did a fresh oil change on this. I actually made a video last year about changing the oil, so I'll put a link to that up above. It's easy, pretty clean procedure for the oil change on this Toro Time Cutter. In addition to changing the oil and checking all the air pressure in the tires, some other things I like to do before the start of each season is change out the air filter on this Toro Time Cutter. It's really easy to get to right here. Another thing I like to do is make sure my battery's in good working order. Now I leave this on a trickle charger all winter long so that it stays good. But the battery is pretty important to making sure you don't have misses, making sure you're not always messing with this machine when you come out to start it up. So if you've got a weak battery, a lot of times for me, it's so inconvenient to have to charge it or jump it every single time that it's better to just change out that battery for a fresh one so that you're sure every time you come out and turn the key, this machine's going to start. So last but certainly not least is preparing yourself for the mowing. In this case, I'm talking about sunscreen, a good hat, hearing protection, and some eye protection. I was out at McKenzie's track meet yesterday, and I got a little bit of sun out there, so today I made sure to get some sunscreen on, wear a hat. Obviously, you want to protect your ears anytime you're running equipment that could pose uh, hearing potential damage, so it's important to get a good set of hearing protection. I like these 3M work tunes. I'll put a link to those down below. I've used these for a couple years now. I've tried other products. These are still my favorite. So there you go, three vitally important things to do to prepare for the mowing season. Like we said, step one, prepare your yard. Step two, prepare the machine. Step three, prepare yourself. I hope you have a great mowing season this year. I look forward to being back on the Toro Time Cutter and getting some yard mode here. Let me get some stripes going in this lawn. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out or entertained you, please give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And if you're not already a subscriber, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.